Hello, welcome. What I want to do is show you how to find uh, the possible positive real zeros or negative real zeros by using the Cartes rule of signs. So what the Cartes rule of signs again is going to tell us is the number, not the possible, the number though of positive real zeros or negative real zeros. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look for a variation of sign, meaning we're going to look between each term and if we go from a positive to a negative or a negative to a positive, we have a variation in the sign. Every variation of sign is going to tell us that we have a real zero or I'll get to that point. So here I have one variation and then I have two variations. So I have two positive zeros or minus a negative integer, which would be two or minus four or minus six. Well, I can only match her two, so I have two possibilities. I either have two positive real zeros, real zeros, or zero positive real zeros. So now what we need to do is take the test for the number of negatives. So if I'm going to test the negatives, I'm now going to input f of negative x or h of negative x. So I have 2 negative x to the fourth minus 3 to the negative x plus 2. Well, negative x or raised to the fourth power, since it's an even power, is always going to produce me back with an even number. So I have 2x to the fourth. Negative x times positive x is going to be a positive 3x plus 2. Here, what we notice is there's absolutely no factors, right? Um, or I'm sorry, there's no variations in the sign. So therefore, there's no negative real zeros. All right, and so there's two or zero positive zeros. So just to reiterate, um, real zeros, remember that's real. So if, notice that this is to the fourth power, so therefore we have four complex zeros, right? Well, if we can, if it's only possible at most positive to have two positive, that means I either have two real, two positive real, and two complex zero, or I have zero real roots or zeros, and I have four imaginary um, roots. So that's the way it kind of works, and that's why it helps us out. It, we obviously know that there's going to be no negative numbers. So if I was going to use maybe um, p over q, I wouldn't really have to look, or if I was going to graph, I wouldn't even have to graph any negative, look for any negative values because by using the Cartes rule of signs, I'm able to determine that there are no negative zeros. I either have two positive real zeros or no, posit or no real zeros, and they're all going to be imaginary. So there you go. I hope it helps.